It definitely has handmade vibes. The smell. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells kind of like a spa. I'll pop this downstairs with the little tea lights that we've been using already. Oh, I snapped the blanket into it a little. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Sleepy squirrels. I hope that you are well. This evening I am filming number 16 of this advent calendar series. I am enjoying this immensely. <laughs> I hope that you guys are too. It's so nice getting all your comments and feedback and just like just chatting with you guys about Christmas. <laughs> lovely. Um, all the entries into the giveaway have been beautiful, beautiful little stories from you guys. I am loving it. I'm definitely going to be making a separate video reading some of your beautiful Christmas memories, if you don't mind. Okay, so let's jump into this unboxing, starting with the place. I wonder if you know the order now, after 16 of these. Let's see what's the first thing in store for us today. Oh, it's a little bottle. A little bottle of what? Oh, it seems to be leaking. I think this is like the third thing that has leaked. And not, I feel like it's not all the same calendar. Yeah, a few things have been leaking this year. Okay, so what is it? Micellar cleansing water. I hope it's supposed to be this color. So, blanc crème au micellar au pamplemousse. Okay, yeah, it's a grapefruit cleansing water. That makes sense for the color. <laughs> so, remove makeup and with a cotton pad, no need to rinse. Okay, I think I will clean this up and And have a little smell. I'm not going to be giving this away for sure because it's all, all gunky. <laughs> oh, that smells amazing. I want to drink it right now. It smells like a grapefruit juice. Just pure grapefruit juice. That's lovely. Okay. I, um, I recognize the name of the brand, but I have no idea if it's like a good brand or expensive or whatnot, but it smells amazing. Okay, next we have Gloria. Hydrate, of course. Biothalase, uh, 25 euros. Biothalase, no sure. I definitely recognize the name of that though. We have a big tube, maybe like body lotion or something. Shampoo. <laughs> okay, golden cocoa. Oh no, it's not shampoo. Um, it's conditioner. In French, they call it after shampoo. Après shampoo. So enriched with cocoa oil um, and shea butter. Mm, I'm not sure I'll be using this. Golden cocoa will help you find shine and health. Aloe vera, shea butter, yeah, with a delicate exotic scent. Okay, let's smell. Is it just like a white kind of cream? Yeah. Yeah, the scent must be very delicate because I don't smell anything. I don't know if um, the grapefruit burnt my nose. <laughs> No, I, it's probably just a very subtle scent and maybe it will come out when you're putting on your hair and stuff. Okay, so this will definitely be 
put into either the giveaway or passed on to a friend at Christmas. Okay. So now on to a beautiful box. Pa, uh, Paina. Six euros ninety. It's quite light. have some squirmy worms, blue ones this time. I feel like we might have something solid in here. That was quite difficult to get out. It's like exactly the same dimensions, I feel like. Pain de rasage pour femme. Okay, so it's like a solid um, razor, what would you call it? Like <laughs> shaving foam? <laughs> yeah. Handmade with coconut oil and raisins. It's okay, grape, uh, grapeseed oil. Delicate scent of pine and citrus agrume. Ah, shaving bar, natural origin, handmade in France. Have a little smell and a little like. Okay, it definitely has handmade vibes. Smell. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells kind of like a spa, like a, a lemony spa. It's got a nice little handmade like style with a little stamp there. Okay, that's cute. I think I will pop this into the giveaway. For shaving, I like to use the, um, like the body oil, like the oil gel, it's like, um, oil, shower oil, there we go, <laughs> looking for that. The shower oil, the almond shower oil, I like the best, but there are a few that work quite nicely. So I'll be happy to pop that into the giveaway for you guys. Let's have a look at you, Oroshi. Something about raspberry, a raspberry vinegar mm. that eliminates all dulling factors for naturally shiny hair. Raspberry hair vinegar? Yeah. <laughs> okay, rinsing vinegar for your hair. I have never heard of that. Is that a thing? Maybe it is. Okay, so with agave Fricton's brilliant shine, um, dull hair, rinsing vinegar. Just says rinse. <laughs> There's no like. Yeah, that's the instructions. Just rinse. Does that mean rinse your hair with this, and or does it mean put it in and then rinse your hair? It smells lovely though. I feel like it should be a drink. Yeah, it smells very kitcheny. Um, so I guess you don't use too much since it's like a little opening. Okay, well, I think I might keep this and have a look how to use it because I have absolutely no idea how I would use that. But it sounds fun. Hair vinegar. I feel like that must be a thing. So on to my little box, it's a heavy, heavy product there, let me just have a girl wrapping the presents there. there. I do love their boxes. Um, I feel like the Yves Rocher and my little box are the best ones. Yves Rocher is the same each time, but the colours are gorgeous. And the and these ones are just beautifully illustrated. Oh, I feel like that's an Occitan product. Oh my god, I'm psychic. I was literally talking about this. It's the shower oil, the almond shower oil that I use to shave my legs. I swear to god, I didn't look at that. So, 
Yeah, this is the um, Oxyten shower oil that I use. The first time I used it, I wasted a whole bunch of it because I was using too much of it. Um, and I was like, oh, it's kind of sticky. I don't really like the effect, that sort of thing. And then, um, who was it? Stephanie, my OG patron, um, told me to just use a touch and use it for shaving. And I was like, oh, wow. And I've been using it ever since. So yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm psychic. Okay, let's move on to the drawers. We first have Look Fantastic, which is all wrapped up. Looks like a, like a little pencil or something. Oh, is it maybe a brush? So we have an Inca organic eye pencil in black. And you know what? I'm not going to swatch this because it is a black eyeliner and I'm sure it's lovely. I just don't need any black eyeliners. I'm really only using liquid eyeliner and sometimes with pencil and I already have a few that um, I quite like. So let's pop this into the giveaway. It'll be nice for most people. So. And the last thing is from the glossy box. We have a little, it looks like makeup in there, doesn't it? Let's see what it is. Yeah. It's a lip thing. Oh, it's already open. Yeah, the packaging is already open. But I guess the product inside is not already open. Okay, so Banana Beauty Velvet Lip Mousse. When in doubt, peel me. Okay. So when in doubt, glam up and go out. That's cute. Oh, I quite like this color actually. Lip mousse, and it's this lovely, like, nudey pink. I think this could actually be a nice color for me, like Vieux Rose or something, you know. What is this called? Queen Bee. I like the packaging, that's cute. Okay, that was really, um, really close to, <laughs> to me. Oh, look at that. Can you see the product building up on them? Play that out. Okay. Okay. It's going to be opaque. It's interesting. What does it smell like? Mm, it doesn't really smell like much. It looks lovely. I think this could be a colour for me. I feel like it might go well with just like a nice simple liner. It's a nice pinky nude. Yeah. Okay. So I think I've had products from them before, but more like lip pencils um, and maybe like glosses. This is maybe not as sticky as a gloss. Oh, I might prefer it. Okay, so that is all the beauty stuff for today. What is my favorite? Well, this is definitely my favorite because I already love it. <laughs> um, I wonder if this is a full size because the one that I have, like the ones that I've had before are this size too. I wonder if it's because it's like a sample or like not a sample, but like a smaller size or if that's the full size. Maybe it's a full size because it does last a long time. So this is the one I like the most for sure. The one that I'm most interested in is probably this hair rinsing vinegar. Just because I have no idea what it is. Um, yeah, and this unfortunately was leaking but it smells absolutely gorgeous. 
so I can imagine it would be only just like a lovely little minute of your day putting that on your face okay so for the giveaway we have the Inca eye pencil the Louvre en Provence um, shaving gel in a bar and possibly the conditioner we'll see okay so let's move on to the non-beauty items starting with the calendar from the Yankee Candle so number 16 is actually <laughs> the one with the little glass um, tea light holder in it but I doubt we're gonna get it through the the little door. Let's have a look. Oh, it's so obviously that one. Okay, let me just rip this part. Maybe it'll be fine. So it says Yankee Candle. It's a little something. It's a little grubby, <laughs> like with candle wax, not like grime or anything. But which one is it? Oh, it's the the twinkling lights one. Well, it's fine. It's not my favourite, but I'm happy to finally have the little um, tea light. We've just been burning them just like as is. I'll pop this downstairs with the little tea lights that we've been using already. Okay, so let's have a little look at our tea down to the last two rows. Christmas is coming. Oh, tropical lemongrass. This is a new one. Organic lemongrass herbal tea with peppermint, hibiscus, rosehip, chamomile, and apple. That sounds lovely. I think I'm gonna like this one. Smell. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna like this one. You can even see it's pretty. Yeah, that's my kind of kind of tea. Okay, so on the morning of the 16th, I will be drinking a gorgeous cup of tropical lemongrass. Yum yum. Okay, so let's have a little look at our gemstone. is just here. Let's see what we have. Oh, it's very green. I like it. It's pretty. Oh, it's all like cloudy. But it's definitely green. It's pretty. And it looks like green moonstone. That's a nice name too. Zoom in a bit. Okay, so green moonstone. A sodium, potassium, aluminium silicate of the feldspar group. I have no idea what the feldspar is. Look how pretty that is. I like it. This usually appears slightly white or transparent with a pale green-yellow color. Um, has long been the stone of love, fertility, intuition, magic, and protection by many cultures. I just realized um, when I give it to my daughter, she'll have to read it all in English. I can help her if she needs like a little translation, I guess. Or maybe we can look the stones up online. Well, maybe we can find like a little video on like some basic stones that way she can like label them or something I don't know I think she'd really like um, like learning about it okay so let's move on to the Number 16 is right down here. Let's see. Oh, we have a boom box. That's cool. Okay, 
Hey, this is cute. And it means we'll have two tapes. Because there was a tape um, in one of the first ones with the present. I think it might have even just been the second one. Here's the tape. Look, is that tape? <laughs> okay, what do we have first? We have the black piece first. And then these pieces here. This one's quite nice. And I do get like a Guardians of the Galaxy vibe from this because of like the um, um, is it the beginning of the second film where it's the 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 little battle one well, big battle I guess that big monster they're all having and then Baby Groot is just dancing through it I love it um, we let the kids watch that. My son was a little, like, not scared as such, but, you know, we didn't want him to see too much of the battle. Tried to make him just focus on the dancing group. And my daughter thought it was hilarious. Oh, we have little dials. That's cool. So it's more of a stereo system, not just a little boombox. Tape in <laughs> and that on top. It's nice. Okay, what do we have on the side? Some speakers. They're separate speakers. Fancy. So it is a stereo system. Cool. I'm gonna get an extra little dial. So that's nice and retro there. Okay, so let's have a little look at the Harry Potter calendar for today. And on the 16th, we have the first one of the sixth film. It's the little um, potions book. A half bread prince there. Can you see it's Slughorn when he is a little couch, <laughs> a little armchair. A lot of pieces. So instead of a scene, I guess this is the character for this film. I like that they they put him as a couch <laughs> for his character one. Okay, how are we building this up? Oh, I snapped the blanket into it a little. So three layers of purple, different purples, We're going from dark to light there. <laughs> That's actually quite pretty. And we're just building up the chair, the armchair. Putting the little sides on. And the little armrests. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that a really cute little side to the couch there? The little armrests. I love little details like that. And this one at the top. Finishing with a worried or smiling. Let's go for smiling. They can be worried later when the kids are playing. There we go. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good introduction of a character, isn't it? It's cool. I like that scene. I like it. Okay, and we have one little extra piece. Always appreciate it. Okay, so that is all. I have to show you for this evening. I hope that you enjoyed this video. That you found it relaxing. A little interesting. I hope that you're following along with this series. Is this 
your first, second, or third year following this series. I hope that every single one of my sleepy squirrels are well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around you, if you have a lot of family or not, celebrate Christmas or not, if you're sick or not, I hope that you can find your own little bubble and go. For example, if you are in Hawkesbury, New South Wales in Australia, like Amanda, And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely, lovely 16.